when creating a snowboard film, you try to think of something iconic, something unique, something that hasn't been done. There's a lot of stuff that's been done out there, not easy to reinvent the wheel. But have you ever seen someone ride through an active volcano? For us, this was on the bucket list, our bucket list shoot. We are filming Driven, the next high caliber snowboard movie. Brought to you by award-winning cinematographers, the pirate movie crew. Hold on to your seats, because this is the how to create an epic snowboard action film. At the end of the day, a bucket list shoot is something you might never get to do again. So riding into an active volcano was right there at the top. 16 years ago, the pirates came here to this volcano looking a little bit younger, a little bit more spunky, a little less conservative, but they weren't able to really capture this bucket list shoot like they wanted to. We're back at the Munovsky volcano, an itch that finally got scratched. All right, boys, saddle up. We're going to the volcano. The key to a successful bucket list shoot is a proper recon or recce or scouting. Whatever you want to call it, we want to be prepared. So we went out on sleds to check it out and answer all our questions. That's where we're going, huh? Sled expeditions are my absolute favorite. And going to the Munovsky volcano was a dream. You're passing volcanoes after volcanoes. You're seeing wind lip after wind lip. I'm wanting to stop everywhere and scope terrain. But the mission is at hand. We got to get there 50 clicks out. There's a lot of pressure in your bucket list shoot. You don't want to blow it. You want to be prepared. And that's exactly what we're trying to do on this recon. We want to know when the light's coming up, how to access the crater, what the snow's like, what kind of equipment to bring, and have targets on what to ride. Dang, this, is, this place is powerful. I am uh, standing in a volcano, pretty much. I think this whole thing's one big crater. And then there's these little sub-craters that are uh, just billowing out steam. Go down. Yeah, like that. Good, good. Stop, stop. OK. OK. Let's talk about some facts with this volcano. The steam billowing out offers a great partner for jamming with a flute in the key of E minor. Fact number two, Manuel is the first man to make a hot tub in the volcano. The water is toxic. Get out of there, Mano. He's surviving so far though. Fact number three, the volcano's last eruption was a whopping six years ago, and it's erupted 16 times in recorded history. And uh, we're playing around snowboarding in it. Isn't it crazy, like volcanoes spewing out steam here and glacier right there? Once we felt satisfied with the recon and we're confident that we'd come back and slay it, the boys broke out the cameras, started filming scenics, and I decided to hike a line just for my own soul, my own satisfaction. I didn't even really care about shooting it. I just wanted to go up there and hike it and enjoy this beautiful sunset on top of the volcano. It was like a spiritual experience. Our recon day was perfect. Exactly what we wanted, plus some. So next, we're coming back with a heli on the next good sunny day. Eww, birds coming, boys! It's go time, boys. Mission impossible to the volcano.
Hiding in the volcano was a once in a lifetime experience. Magical on all fronts. And I'm happy to say we checked that off the bucket list. Thank you! Oh my God, that's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Mother Nature, creator, I love you. Thank you. Woo! That's it for this season. We're wrapping it up, but we've got a whole nother year of snowboarding, filming, and we're gonna do another how-to series, so stay tuned. It's going to be good. See you next year.